Hello everyone. Welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to deploy feature updates policy for Windows 10 and later devices in Microsoft Intune. Feature updates policy updates devices to the Windows version we specify and then frees the feature set version on those devices. By freezing the version, the device's feature set remains stable during the duration of the policy. This version freeze remains in place until we choose to update them to a later Windows version. While the feature version remains static, devices can continue to install quality and security updates that are available for their feature version. Windows Feature Updates Policies work with Update Rings Policies to prevent a device from receiving a Windows Feature version that is later than the value specified in the Feature Updates Policy. First, let's talk about the prerequisites to successfully apply Feature Update Policy with Intune. In addition to a license for Intune, an organization must have a subscription that include a license for Windows Update for Business Deployment Service. You must have either Windows Enterprise E3 E5, Windows Education E3 A5, Windows Virtual Desktop Access E3 E5 or Microsoft 365 Business Premium subscription in your tenant for Intune's Feature Updates policy. We must have turned on telemetry with a minimum setting of required on targeted devices. The Microsoft Account Sign-in Assistant service must be able to run on that devices. If the service is blocked or set to disabled, devices fails to receive the update. Windows devices must be running on supported Windows 10 and Windows 11 edition. Devices must have enrolled in Intune and be hybrid AD joined or Azure AD joined. Windows long term and home versions are not supported for Windows update for business. With feature updates policy, there are also some limitations. If you have an update ring profile, the delay for feature updates must be set to zero days. This configuration ensures your feature updates are not delayed by update deferrals that might be configured in an update ring policy. Feature updates for the update ring must be running. They must not be paused. Feature updates for Windows 10 and later policies cannot be applied during the autopilot out-of-box experience. Instead, the policies apply at the first Windows update scan after the device has finished provisioning which is typically a day. Since we are using Enterprise Mobility plus Security E5 trial license, it does not include the license Windows Update for Business Deployment Service. So basically, we don't have the required license to successfully deploy the feature update policy. But we can see the steps to create and assign feature updates for Windows 10 and later policy. So in this video, we will cover the steps to create and assign feature updates policy on our Windows 10 device. Sign in to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center as a global administrator or an Intune service administrator. We can access Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL https endpoint.microsoft.com. On home page, click on Devices. Under Policy, click on Update Rings for Windows 10 and later. In the last video, we have created this Update Rings policy for Windows 10 device. We can confirm that the feature update deferral period is set to zero 
and feature updates for the update ring is also running. This is the one of the requirement to use feature update policy and update rings policy together. Now click on feature updates for Windows 10 and later. Click on create profile. Under deployment settings, specify a name and a description for this policy. Description is optional. We have given a name MSF Feature Update 01 for test group. We have also added description so that we know the purpose of this policy. At top, we can see one message Enable Windows Health Monitoring and select Windows Update Scope to get detailed device states and errors. Already we have created a dedicated video on that topic. I'll provide the link to that video in the description. Now we need to select the Windows 10 version that should stick on the devices. Click on drop down arrow to see the options. In this example, we will select Windows 10 version 21H2 feature upgrade version. Our test Windows device is running on Windows 10 version 21H1. So we want to upgrade our Windows 10 device to 21H2 and we want to freeze on that version. Next, we need to configure rollout options to manage when Windows updates makes the update available to devices that receive this policy. With make update available as soon as possible, there is no delay in making the update available to devices. The selection is the default behavior for a Windows update. With make update available on a specific date option, we can select a day on which the update in the policy will be available to install. Windows update won't make the update available to devices with this configuration until the day is reached. Select make update available gradually option to see the other options. With this option, we can direct a Windows update to extend an update offer to different subsets of the devices that are targeted by the policy at different times. This behavior distributes the availability of the update across the time we have configured and can reduce the effect to our network as compared to offering the update to all devices at the same time. At bottom, we can see the warning about the license requirement. It says this capability requires specific licenses. For this demo, we'll go with the default option which is make update available as soon as possible. Click on next. In scope tags, assign a tag to filter the profile to specific groups. In this demo, we'll go with the default scope tag. Click on next. We have created one security group named feature update zero test devices. We have added one test device to that group. We want to assign this policy to feature update zero test devices group for testing purpose. So under included groups, click on add groups. From the list, we will select a device group named feature update zero test devices. Click on select. We have one device in our test group. Click on next. In Review Plus Create page, review the settings which we have configured for this policy. When ready, click on Create and wait for the confirmation message. We can see two confirmation messages that the Windows Feature Update deployment successfully created and assigned. That's all. The Feature Update policy is successfully created and assigned to Taste Device Group. Now, let's go to our Windows 10 device. First of all, we are going to initiate a manual sync with Intune. Click on Sync and wait for the sync process to complete. 
Okay, sync was completed successfully. Now I'm going to restart this VM. After restart, sign in again to this Windows 10 device. Again, we are going to initiate a manual sync with Intune. Click on Info. Click on Sync and wait for the sync process to complete. So we are performing a manual sync again so we can have updated information in Intune portal. Okay, sync was completed successfully. Now let's go back to Intune portal to generate Windows 10 feature updates report. In Indian portal, first of all, I am going to refresh the ANTA web page. Now click on reports. Under device management, click on Windows updates. Click on reports tab. Select Windows feature update report. Again, we can see the message, enable a Windows health monitoring and select Windows update scope to get a detailed device state and errors. On Windows feature update report, we need to click on select a feature update profile link. From the list, select a feature update deployment profile. If your feature update deployment profile is not available here, then you need to wait little longer. Once it is available, then we can proceed to next step. In our case, we can see our feature update deployment profile is there. MSF feature update 01 for test group. Let's select it and click on OK. At top, we can see our feature update policy is selected. You can select update status and ownership to refine the report. Click on drop down arrow and uh, let me clear the checkbox and we just want to select company ownership. Click on generate report. Wait for the confirmation message. Here we can see the message generating report for Windows 10 and later feature updates deployment. We can see the confirmation that report successfully generated. But here we are not able to see anything. So let me refresh the web page and let's check uh, whether our report is there or not. Okay, our profile is selected and uh, now again I'm going to click on generate again to generate the report again. You can see the confirmation it is generating report for feature updates deployment. Perfect. We can see the confirmation report successfully generated. Suppose if you are not able to see this report here, then you need to wait little longer. But if you don't want to wait, then you can go back to your client computer and perform manual sync one more time. And again, try to generate the report on Intune portal. In our case, our report is there. Now first, check the last scan time. In our case, we can see it is not scanned yet. Under update aggregated state, we will find a high level summary of the update state like in progress or error. In our case, it is also in progress. When applicable, alert type displays the most recent alert message. Once the feature update is available, our test device will update automatically to the version which we have specified in our feature update profile. User will also get notification for the same. If this is the very first time a device is enrolled in feature update deployment, it can take up to 24 hours to connect all backend services. If your device match all the prerequisites and licensing requirements, the feature update will download and install automatically on targeted Windows devices. Feature updates policy will update the device to the Windows version we have specified in the policy and then freeze the feature set version on those devices. This version freeze remains in place 
until we choose to update them to a later Windows version. Since we don't have the required license for Windows Update for Business, a device will fail to download the feature update. So we cannot see the complete result of this policy. But this video can give you an idea about the steps on feature update deployment process on Windows 10 devices using Microsoft Intune. That's all for this video on how to deploy feature updates policy for Windows 10 and later devices in Microsoft Intune. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.